Hi, I'm Randy Robinson. This is Life Today TV, and I have one of your favorite authors with me. John Eldridge is here. He has a new book called Killing Lions. He co-wrote with his son, Sam. John, good to have you back. Thanks, Randy. I'm always honored when you come and visit us and enjoy talking to you. And, yeah, me too. Yeah. And we have a lot of great guests, a lot of great authors. I don't have time to read everyone's books. I make time to read yours. Thank you. Um, in fact, I was just recommending Outlaw last week. So Nice. You know, outlaw, wild at heart. Now you're killing things. Um, lions. Yeah, lions. Lions. Metaphorically. Which, metaphorically speaking, I understand. What are you trying to convey in this one? This is a sweet story, too. Um, killing lions, the idea is young men need a sense of confidence as they go out into the world. They need that confidence that David had before Goliath, right? Like, I can handle this. And David tells you where that came from, right? When he says, I've... I've faced lions, I've faced bears, like, I, 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 like I, I've been through things that have prepared me for this moment. And so what we're trying to do is help young guys understand how to get that in their life. It's almost like this is wild at heart for a new generation, gotcha. right? Is that why you worked with your son on it? Well, it's a, it's a cool story because um, I've never been the kind of dad that's like, you gotta follow in my footsteps and um, Sam went to school as an English major, wanted to be a writer, and he got out of school and he was going to go get a master's degree in writing. And I said, I can, I can give you an education in writing. <laughs> you, know, you know, like I can give you a real time thing. I said, why don't you and I work on a, on a project together? And, and uh, I'm not promising that it'll turn into a book, but maybe it will. And what was really cool about the story is initially he said no. Wanted to be his own man. Exactly. I Stand on his own feet. I get it. Right? Exactly. So, but where this, where this began to really unfold was Sam was able to come to me with questions about his life, about a girl he was pursuing, questions about work, career, money. And I said, Sam, like, how many young men do you know have that? Like, let's offer this to young guys. Let's give them a taste of the counsel, the wisdom, and what it would be like to allow some fathering into your life. Now, you almost, that, that could sound like you hadn't fathered him up to then, and I know that's not the case. Right, not at all. What, what's the deal, what's going on there? Is it just that we as sons can be that stubborn and hard of hearing? There, there's an independence that comes with young manhood that's actually really good. And like, I respect it. Sam went off to college and chose his own college, chose where he went, and we blessed that. And, and during those years, he didn't call much. <laughs> it sounds like somebody I know. Right? <laughs> right. You know, he, and that's fine. Like, they, like, you know, I don't wanna be the helicopter parent that's just, you know, always over them. And, um, but then as he tells the story, you know, he gets out of college and he starts taking on water and uh, is the expression we use, and um, he calls me up. And, and it was mostly about guidance at that point. It's like, wh like, what do I do for a career? Where, like, those kinds of things. I said, you know what, instead of just me offering you quick advice on this, why don't we, why don't we make an appointment? Every Wednesday night, why don't we get on the phone? And we'll talk, we'll pray, and we'll just see where it goes. We got three months into those phone calls and that's when I said, Samuel, this is a book. Like the things that we're talking about are so beautiful and so helpful and so substantive. I'm like, let's, let's put it down on paper. All smooth from there? You know, the beautiful thing is, yep. Yeah. I mean, I, like I could try and say, oh no, there's all this tension between us, but um, he's the real McCoy and he's honest with his story in there. I'm proud of how honest he is with his story in there because he went off to a Christian college and actually didn't fit in real well and then ended up feeling like the black sheep of the family. And, um, but the beautiful thing is, is, man, we started working together on this book and it was a joy. Good. It was a joy. And this, like, the thing is, is like, like nowadays we go, wow, that's so unusual. Like, you <laughs> Unfortunately, know, yeah. You know, Randy, like you kind of working here with your dad's ministry and doing, like that's so unusual. This is actually how young men lived for thousands of years, right? If your dad was a farmer, you were a farmer, right? If your dad was a carpenter, you were a carpenter. If he was a tailor, you made coats. And like young men learn by being around older men 
doing something together. So this is very cool. Yeah, sounds real good. Um, definitely go pick up the book, um, whether you're a father or son or somewhere in between. What, what, what else do you have going on? Anything else? You know, it was an interesting thing because I was chatting with your dad um, the other day and he was saying something about prayer and kind of prayer movements. And um, I just wrote a book on prayer. I just finished it. Yeah. And, and I heard that Lucado did. And I heard, like, I think God is doing something next with his people and it's teaching us to pray. Uh, so I had, a, I had an incredible experience writing this book on prayer. And it's not just like the theory of prayer. It's like, no, like here's how you do it to see things happen, to see change come. I think a lot of people gave up on prayer. Give us a taste. Of the book? Uh, yeah, just one of your, one of your favorite points. One, one of the revelations to you in writing, some, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing. Prayer is as not you write. just yeah. asking God to do something. Okay. That's not, most people conceive of God's God. If he's gonna move, he's gonna move. So I just ask and either he moves or doesn't. Right. But actually, actually, because of what's happened for us in Christ, because we've been raised with him and seated at the right hand of the Father, prayer now is far more us invoking the kingdom, enforcing the work of Christ into certain situations than it is just kind of passively asking God and then go, well, I guess he just didn't want to move. It's like, no. Can we move God? That's one of the things I t take apart in the book. Prayer moves the hand of God as a heinous view of God. Right? In the parable of the prodigal son, you know, remember it says he saw his son while he was still a long ways off? Well, the only way the father could see him while he was still a long ways off is if the father had already been looking sure. for him. Sure. Right? And the son comes back. It's interesting. The son comes back with a prayer speech yeah. that he's been rehearsing. <laughs> right, right. Right? Yeah. You know, yeah. oh, father, forgive me for <laughs> I have <laughs> sinned. And I, you know, and the father doesn't even, like, he doesn't even pay attention to that stuff. It's the kiss, it's the embrace. It's not that prayer moves the hand of God. That's not the kind of world that we have now. We have a world where God is raising us up as sons and daughters who know how to bring the kingdom, who know how to reign, right? Because eventually we will reign with him forever, right? And so it's a far more dynamic partnership with God. And like, wow, that's just gonna, it's just gonna change the way I think a lot of people approach prayers. It's not just asking God. It's partnering with God to see things happen. I'm excited. Sounds good. It's going to be killer. Oh, um, killing, prayer, killing lions, killing prayer. Killer prayer, yeah, it's all, right. Yeah, killer yeah. Good stuff. What's the best place for people to keep up with that and know when that book's out, your website? Right, the website, ransomtart.com. Great. Yeah. Great. Check it out. Um, I'm excited. I, you, you, got me, you got my interest, you know, so I'm looking forward to that. I want you to meet Sam as well. You can uh, look for my interview with him right there in that seat. And you can also go to Life Today and watch the two of them together on the Life Today television show. That's at lifetoday.org. Thanks again for sitting down. Good to see you. Yeah, Randy, thanks for having me.